Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan Poopery, and I'm back again with a video that kind of continues the last video I made, which was I was having trouble powering my Arduino Nano IoT with just a 9 volt battery. And so in this video, I'm going to show how I was successfully able to use a DC-DC boost converter um, in order to get uh, my um, Nano working and just how you can use a boost converter in general because it's going to be very useful when you have a low voltage battery and then you need to power some higher voltage components for whatever you might be doing. Okay, and so I have this website linked uh, from Canvas on DigiKey that talks about exactly what we're going to do, generate high DC output from low input supply, and it goes through a lot of things in there. It gives some recommendations, uh, even shows how you would take a make a circuit that takes a lithium ion battery and then uh, you can get 24 volts out of that lithium ion battery, which is good uh, and you might need uh, for your projects. So I'm just going to show how that works in this case. Um, I didn't buy uh, the components on DigiKey. Instead, I just decided I wanted to go cheap and easy. Uh, and I bought these on Amazon just to see if they'd work. Um, you could find them on Amazon by just typing in DC DC boost converter. And so it says it takes input voltage of 2 to 24 volts and outputs at, at 5 to 28. And the good thing about uh, the reason I chose these is because there's like this uh, potentiometer knob on there that I can turn uh, and kind of investigate um, how the output voltage is uh, affecting operation. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily encourage you to use this. Um, for your projects, um, I'd encourage you to go the DigiKey route, um, but it certainly it can work. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it works. Okay, so like last time, I'm just using LabVIEW to measure the different voltages. Uh, we are ha we do have the same voltage follower circuit with an instrumentation amp circuit, and then into our Arduino uh, Nano IoT. And so I'll just remind you that. If I plugged a 9 volt in here, I expected it to work. Okay, so you see we get 8.4 volts out of the battery. We get about half of that out of the, each side of the voltage followers to expect to work. But, and like that should be enough power uh, for the Arduino um, IoT, but it's just not. I mean, you can see from the output of the, the, nan the nano 3.3 volt signal is too small. Okay, again, I could put a nano BLE sense in here and it will work just great. It's just this IoT apparently needs some more voltage. Okay, so instead of plugging the battery in to directly into the voltage follower, I'm going to first plug it through this boost converter that I bought from Amazon. And so now you can see I have already boosted, like I have that uh, set screw boosted. So the battery is boosted up from 8.4 up to about nine volts. And you can see the plus or minus how the voltage falls a little higher. This is still not enough to get the uh, nano working. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this screw and that will increase the voltage out of um, the voltage follower that goes, or out of the battery um, that goes into the voltage follower. The Elvis board analog inputs, uh, remember, are limited to 10 volts. So we won't see the from battery keep going up, but we'll see the voltage follower plus and minus keep increasing. And you just have to like double that to know what the total uh, voltage coming out of the boost converter is. And then we'll see if we can get this um, nano IoT working. Okay, so you can see I was I was turning it up, um, I, you know I'm just by looking at the plus and minus I'm probably somewhere around 11 volts total ish, uh, but you can see now suddenly the Arduino Nano 33 is uh, 
outputting 3.28 volts, which is close enough 3.3. The LED light on the Nano is now bright and strong rather than that weak little light from before. Now we have our Nano working off of just a 9 volt battery by including this boost converter in here. Okay, the other thing I found interesting was I started like, uh, I'm, I'm going to back it off and I'll show you. I'm going to back off the voltage to see like, okay, what's the minimum voltage we could use? So I'm going to show you that. Okay, I just kept going down. I'm going to stop going down now, but you can see I went down all the way to like 8 volts and um, the Arduino seems to still be working. Okay, we got a nice bright green light. We got the 3.3 volts coming out of where it should be 3.3 volts. So it appears that the Arduino Nano needs a little bit more voltage to start, but then once it's started, you can give it you know, just a normal 9 volt battery and you don't have to go through the boost converter. Anyways, I, it's not really practical to like give it a, a boost voltage at the beginning and then give it lower voltage later. Um, but I, I think that's what's going on and why it didn't work. Um, and the Nano 33 BLE did work. It didn't need that uh, boost of voltage at the beginning to start up. Okay, so we got it working with a uh, nine volt battery. So I decided to see what other kind of batteries uh, we could get to work. And so what I ended up doing is, uh, these are just two AAA batteries. I kind of like taped them together and, and made um, it one single uh, cell. And so the, this is approximately 3.1 to 3.2 volts because each one, each um, AAA battery is just a little over 1.5 volts. Uh, so we want to see if this can, this, you know, this three volts of AAA battery can power our uh, Nano. Um, just going, you know, that's nice to go, going through the boost converter so you can go from even lower voltage than a nine volt battery. Okay, so you can see it at first, um, we're still outputting eight volts from the boost converter. Um, but again, the battery's only putting out like 3.1, 3.2 volts. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn up the uh, boost converter and see if we can get this Nano powered. Okay, so again, I turned that set screw, you know, somewhere around 11 or so volts. Um, I was able to get the Nano working, and, you know, it's great with these uh, two AAA batteries. So that's another thing you could use. You don't need a 9-volt. You can power um, your Nano with um, two AAA batteries. I wanted to try another type of battery, so I have this uh, lithium-ion 3-volt battery uh, with the holder that I'm going to plug in here. It's kind of like a watch battery. Um, can we use that to power our Arduino Nano? Okay, and the answer is no, we cannot. Uh, for whatever reason, um, it just doesn't have enough juice. I messed around with the boost converter trying to turn it up, and we really can't get it to produce more than 7 volts out of the uh, battery itself, or 7 volts out of the boost converter. Uh, the battery itself, I can plug it in over here and we can look at it. Right, the battery itself produces about 2.7 volts at this point in its life. And so it's just the boost converter does not do anything with that. Right, it can't get much over 7 volts. And therefore, the Arduino Nano is never able to run. Okay, but that is the story of boost converters. You guys can use them to uh, increase power to any of your microcontrollers or anything else that needs more uh, voltage. Uh, and therefore use uh, a smaller battery uh, than having like a massive 12 volt battery that you might need. All right, I hope that's a great hint for y'all and helps you complete your projects.